Good afternoon. My name is Caitlin Mama and I'm a public information officer with the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Today, we will, we will be providing an update on a recent homicide investigation. With us today, we have the County Sheriff's Office Fugitive Warrants, Detective Richard White, Sergeant John Green, Sheriff Carmine Marcino, Arctic Analyst Jenny Rufner and May Lopez, and our Major Crimes Unit Captain, John DeRosiers. Sheriff, I'll turn it over to you. <clears throat> Good afternoon and thank you for being here. I'm Sheriff Carmen Marcino. As you know, this past Sunday, the Lee County Sheriff's Office deputies responded to a residence on 25th Street Southwest in Lehigh Acres regarding a shooting. Deputies arrived to find a deceased male victim with numerous gunshot wounds. The Lee County Sheriff's Office Major Crimes Unit responded and assumed the investigation. Witnesses confirmed the victim exited the residence with the intention of meeting an acquaintance. While outside, that victim was fatally shot. The analysts in our real-time intelligence center working together with our detectives right here in this room drastically reduced the amount of time necessary to identify and locate the suspect. Utilizing the state-of-the-art technology coupled with the hard work of our team, Benjamin Austin Page was developed as a suspect. Page is no stranger to law enforcement. After being convicted on weapon charges, Page was incarcerated in a Florida state prison from July of 2016 until his release in January of this year. After our investigation revealed Page was sexually involved with the victim in this case and recently became angry over the victim's refusal to delete sexually explicit images between the two. Our detectives worked around the clock, successfully tracking and locating Page in Charlotte County. I'd like to thank the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office, the Northport Police Department, the Punta Gorda Police Department, the U.S. Marshals Service, and the Florida Regional Fugitive Task Force, which includes detectives from Lee County Sheriff's Office, Page was apprehended just two hours ago. They say a pitch is worth a thousand words, I'd say more. Page has been arrested and charged with second-degree murder and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Our real-time I'm sorry, <clears throat> our real-time intelligence center continues to impress as they quickly obtain and disseminate critical information to our staff. This greatly improves officer and citizen safety and helps to quickly remove dangerous criminals from our streets. I could not be more proud of our team putting this violent thug in jail where he belongs. I will take some questions. Does he have a history here in, in Lee County? He has a history and uh, past history put him in prison. I don't know the exact history, that but was yes. From, that was from here. Yes, uh, not from Lee County, but his history has him in prison. Yes, sir. So it's not a hate crime, but our victim was a male, and he had a sexual, uh, a sexual relationship with the suspect. You know, they committed sexual acts together. Uh, so there was a, it wasn't a hate crime, but there was that acquaintance relationship. Have they been in prison together? Uh, no, sir. No, D domestic violence, you have a ch child in common or you live in the same household, they know each other about a week, give or take, through social media. Any other questions? Thank you. Appreciate you being here. Thank you.